Hey, happy, 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 beautiful, amazing day. Dr. Bob Rakowski here with a new SARS COVID 2 science and fact based update. Uh, amazingly, I got this picture this morning from a friend of mine in Sweden. Uh, and Sweden said, you know what? We're not worried about this bug. It's just a regular respiratory bug. And guess what? They got through it no higher death rate than uh, most of the world. And most of their people that moved on were over 80, over 90, just like the rest of the world. Um, we want to protect those people. M make no mistake about it. But, uh, you know, you have a choice. You can either keep yourself healthy, clean, and strong, or you can rely on something outside of you to build and create your immune system. And the question is, really, which do you prefer? Now, I can't even begin to imagine uh, that a rational human would choose this, but we apparently have a lot of irrational humans, uh, and you just need to look at the behavior out there to verify that. Now, I think they can come back around, but oh my gosh, you know, pe people need to have hope and they need to have something to do. And you know, that, a lot of that's been taken away from a lot of people. So take a look at this headline here. It says, while media focuses on COVID case spike, US sees, low, US sees the lowest death count in three months. So we have fewer people dying from this COVID, but way, 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 way more people by being diagnosed. Well, why would that be? We have more tests, more tests, more diagnoses. Uh, you know, I, I talked to a patient yesterday uh, who had friends in New York inner city. Uh, he's a, an NBA superstar and he says, Bob, I had friends die in New York city. And I said, did they die from the virus or did they die what medicine did for them? So he had relatively young, healthy people in New York city. They threw on a ventilator uh, and it easily could be argued that the ventilator killed them because it was the absolute wrong thing to do. Imagine a friend going in healthy, they go on a ventilator, three days later they're dead. No, do not resuscitate. No, there's a do not resuscitate order. Game over. So what can we do to clean our tank? Well, we can eat right, drink right, think right, move right, sleep right, poop right, talk right every single day. Eat right. If God made it, it's okay. If man made it, don't touch it. Drink right. Pure water, healthy coffee and tea, which is nutrient dense water. Exercise in a way that nourishes your body, mind, and spirit. Get good sleep because if you're not running on rest and recovery, you're running on stress hormones and those suppress the immune system. Poop right. That basically means clean your tank, right? Sweat, have bowel movements, you know, get enough fluid and fiber so your system flushes out daily. Uh, have good conversations with yourself and everybody around you. And then the mind is the starting point, right? If you buy into fear, you're closer to death. You are deteriorating your brain if you buy into fear. And that is a proven medical fact. What has happened to every pandemic throughout history? It rises and it falls. What about respiratory illnesses? They're gone by now. They are gone by now. Look throughout human history. They're gone by now. So why is this one hanging around longer? Because they wanted it to be. Remember, we're gonna go on lockdown. The only game changer is going to be a vaccine. We've heard it time and time again. So they're buying into this, right? Instead of you being strong and healthy, instead of them telling you how to use the, the lockdown to get healthy, they're inspiring fear, which keeps you sick and weak. And they're still inspiring fear, even though this is basically done. So is scaring the population legal? Well, we used to call that terror or terrorism. Is there some terrorism, domestic terrorism going on right now? Well, I think it's clear that there is. Crime, money, power, drugs are all linked. Notice they're not talking about take vitamins and, and prevent this COVID. Hey, there's 28,000 PubMed studies on the importance of nutrition to our immune system. Why aren't they talking about that? You need to ask yourself that question. Here's the good side. We have extreme decline in pediatric deaths because children are not going to pediatricians. We're on track to save 10,000 US babies this year. How wonderful. And I hope every conscious pediatrician wakes up to this. In fact, if you know a pediatrician, send them this data. Let's start the discussion. Why would not going to pediatricians save babies? Maybe the medical system is making them sick and weak and in some extreme cases, killing them. How sad. But the lights are coming on day by day. I'm Dr. Bob Rakowski, truth seeker, truth speaker, absolutely knowing that we can all be happy, healthy, and successful.